Hello everyone, welcome to your reading. Today's going to be a fun one. Um, this is a viewer and now subscriber request by Ms. Anita Knight, okay? Girl, thank you so much for suggesting this. I had so much fun. Um, I'm excited to see what your guys actually have to say to you. I mean, really, I mean, um, what we're going to do here is we're going into what will your future husband think about you and what will they feel about you? Any messages of love I can get out, that's going to be it. Um, I did channel a letter, okay? I, you see, behind each of these is a letter. Um, I want you to imagine that you are already with your husband. I want you to imagine that um, you woke up and he was gone for work. You know, you spent all night sleeping next to him. Um, I want you to imagine that he is coming home to you tonight, okay? You know, you're going to have... Um, you know, your day at work, but when you come home, he's going to be there. I want you to envision that you are already, you know, that you already gave him a hug and a kiss goodbye. I want you to pretend, okay? Just pretend for now that you two are already together, okay? Don't envision how the relationship has gone, how you, none of that. Just envision that here and now, you two are together, okay? He's off to work. You're probably starting your day. Tonight, you two will be together, and I want you to see which pile calls out to you, okay? Pile number one, this is my really beat up tiger's eye. <laughs> pile number two is the green adventure. Pile number three is the snow obsidian, okay? So choose one pile, which one is truly calling out to you? And we will get right into your messages, okay? Bye. Pile number one, for those of you who chose this really beat up tiger's eye, I believe it's tiger's eye. <laughs> All right, this is your reading here, okay? Um, I'm going to try and speak to you like it's your future spouse um, speaking to you, but just bear with me, okay? Um, I'm kind of iffy about going into someone else's energy, but, you know, it's like, you know, with love, I mean, you've got to make the exception for, you know, real love. And this is who you're going to end up with. Okay. It's like from the moment he saw you, he knew that he wanted you to be the mother of his children. He knew that he wanted to marry you. He loves it because every time he looks at you, there's like, whatever you do, you do it with love. You do it with the passion. You have this childlike wonder in your eyes and no one can sway you from whatever you want to do. You just, you do it and it's just such a beautiful thing. Like, you know, you put your whole heart into it. He loves it when you're really excited about something, something that happened at work, something you know, a project you worked on, like maybe you did a painting and, you know, you're really proud of it, like you're having fun with it and he loves seeing you in that element. It's like, I feel like when you're, when you think he's not looking at you, he's watching you or when you're preoccupied with something, he just cannot keep his eyes off of you. It's like you radiate this glow of when you're happy and it makes him just fall so in love with you. He wants to give you the world like he sees you like his little princess, like you can do no wrong in his eyes. I feel like um, you might have little fits like um, temper tantrums, but he just wants to give you the world like he just he'll give you your way like he thinks you're so cute. You're like this little gem, this this prize, this prize that he's won, but something that that really means something to him. He's glad that you took a chance on you too. I, you were doubtful. Maybe you didn't want to give your heart. Maybe you were just resistant to him because you thought he was a player. He had a, a reputation, but you really took a chance on him. And he loves you because no matter what, you just work on your partnership. It's like, you don't give up on you too. You know, even when things get rough, you just don't give up and neither does he. 
or when maybe like he kind of like he has like these moments where he just goes a little cold you know he won't express how he feels for you he might leave to cool off you have an understanding for him and you know he loves that you don't think the worst he loves that you don't jump to conclusions you're just you're a real woman you're a real woman and it's like you'll work through any issue that you two have and then when you are happy it's like you just give him you give him your world you you give him you give him true happiness in your marriage in your marriage you're going to take a lot of vacations you guys are going to have a lot of time to yourselves and this is the way he shows you that he just adores the hell out of you. Like, he wants to take you to Paris, the the um, the city of love. He wants to take you, you know, to a spiritual retreat down in Mexico so you two can connect. Because he knows that you two are soulmates. And he will do whatever it takes to just keep, you know, to keep you happy, keep you loving him. Your love is what drives him you know, day after day, it's what gives him that drive to keep pushing forward, to work hard for you too. I feel like he's going to just, you know, adore you when you're sick. He's, he'll be right there at the hospital with you. You know, if he finds you calling out, you know, of work on a day when you're not feeling good, he's going to stay home with you as well. He's not going to go to work. Like, he's going to be there taking care of you. Like I said, you're his little princess. Yeah, I feel like before you two got together, he may have been entertaining somebody else. But really, you were like the muse to his to his song. Like, with you, you completed everything that he's ever... I mean, I feel like he was a bachelor, and he, he did have quite a few women. He probably had another woman, but he entertained a lot of women because in different women were different qualities and traits that he sought out but with you it was like you were everything and more so he just he just had to have you he knew you were it what all those other women had each individual trait maybe one was loving one was kind one was you know passionate you know you had it all within yourself plus beauty and then your soul was pure like you just everything that you love you love wholeheartedly you love with the passion you just it's something fierce about your love. It's just like that one saying, I forgot who it was by, but it was um, way back then. You know, um, women, women fight to be equal to men, but really they don't see how they're amazing. You know, you give her um, a house, she'll give you a home. You um, buy her, you know food she'll you know give you a meal you give her sperm she'll make a baby and he truly like appreciates the feminine in you he truly appreciates everything you can do as a woman yeah I just I just feel like I just, I, I feel like no matter what, it's like if you want a mansion, he's going to work hard to give it to you. If you want whatever you want, he will, you are just everything and you are his princess. And I feel like he's going to be a real family man and that's what he wants with you. You two will get married. You two will have a dream wedding. You two will go on the dream honeymoon. You two will have babies. You guys are going to have children. And when you have children, what's going to, what's going to be his pride and joy is watching you mother those children. Um, what he's going to just be so fulfilled by is knowing that he's working hard to maintain a family that you two created together. Each time you have babies, it is a display of your love for one another. You know, and his children, he's going to be a wonderful father and a husband, but with his children, He's going to love them even more because it is something you two created together. His love for you is within each of those children that you have. And he's going to love them and cherish them. And he's going to love and cherish you. 
Yeah, you might get com comments as well from family like, oh my God, you know, I, you're so lucky to have so-and-so as your husband. Every time he looks at you, he just has this immense love in his eyes. But I feel that he loves your fiery, creative, passionate spirit. You might have like um, moments where, um, like I don't give a fuck moments and like you you totally like let someone hear your opinion, your viewpoint, and he, he laughs, you know, like he just laughs at it. Where to us, someone might be like, hey, control your lady. He's like, shut up and let her do her thing. And he loves how you transform. He loves how you, I feel like you take his pain and you transmute it. You take his stress, you transmute it. And I feel like, you know, every part of your life, it's like you're always transforming. You know, you've transformed from one person into another. And it, oh, he falls in love with you each phase of your life. It's like, I fell in love with the girl I was dating. And then she, you know, I fell in love with the woman who married me. You know, where to as you were more calm and committed. I fell in love with the woman who was pregnant. You know, you might have like, um, you might be more... I feel like you might be, oh, everyone gets sensitive when they're pregnant, but you might be more loving, you know, just everything. You might be a little brat, I don't know, but he falls in love with that. And then when you're a mother, he falls in love with the person you become as a mother. You know, you're, atten you're attentive to the children. You, you freak out when they get sick or, you know, you just, you know, he falls in love with each phase of woman you become. And that's going to go into when you're, when you get older, you know, he's going to fall in love with the grandmother you are, you know, it's just, he finds any little reason to fall in love with you and celebrate you as his wife, as his partner, as his soulmate. So yeah, you're going to marry your soulmate. He knows that you two are soulmates. Um, he's going to want a lot of time alone with you. Um... And yeah, I mean, you two are always, you guys are a work of art. I mean, you're always working on your relationship. Okay, let's get to the letter. <laughs> I'm a little excited. Okay. So I channeled two different messages from each. Um, one was when I was actually holding the crystal that you've chosen, okay? So I, I channeled this when I was holding the crystal, and then um, I did some, like, song telepathy, okay? So with that okay you're this is a letter from your future husband to you you're beautiful i'm growing impatient too why can't we be together already remember i need you to always feel that hope for us to be together soon this helps me to become the husband you need me to be <laughs> remember i mentioned he was a little bit of a playboy I'm nothing like your past relationships, and I will always put our love first above everyone else. I feel, excuse me, I fell in love with your soul. Even when you're old, I'm always going to love you. I can't wait to hold you. You and I are meant to be. I listen to music and think of you even though we're not together yet. I feel your love even though you won't admit it to me at first. When we come together, we'll be inseparable. I feel so lucky to be able to stand beside you and know I have your love. Wow, that is so cute. So it's like he thrives. He, he, his life force is just your love for him, your love for each other. Yeah, I, I mean, this is someone who in the past may have had many women and he may have cheated, okay? But, and you might be put off by that. Like, you're going to say, I already know what you're about. Don't even waste your time. I'm not interested. But something about him, he's, you're, he's like a, you're like, he's magnetized to you. And overnight, even in that split second he sees you, it's like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to play around. She's the woman that I want, and I'm, she's it. She is it. And he's just going to just kiss your toes and kiss the ground and worship the ground that you walk on. You see, he's right there at her feet. Like, I feel like you could step all over this guy, and he is just going to love you for it. Like, he deals with it, but you're not going to want to treat him that way because your love is just so pure. 
Um, let me see here. Yeah, you're 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 everything to him. You're everything to him. Um, yeah, so he's a different man right now, but when he meets you, you have just changed him, and you won't even have to do anything except be yourself. Okay, so pile number one, that was your reading from your future husband. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. Does it resonate? Does it not? And as always, please like, share, subscribe. I mean, I really want to connect to you people. I really, you know, I really love the comments that come in. I love the suggestions. I write down your suggestions. Um, you know, I appreciate honest feedback. So please feel free to let me know. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay. So with that, pile number one, have a great day. Bye. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. Um, I'm loving this so far. I mean, this is like a true first for me to really just, you know, be able to do something like this. And for so long, I did this for myself. And I would never realize the importance that, you know, there are so many people out there looking to connect, looking to make a true connection. And not just for the sake of having someone, but really making a connection heart to heart, soul to soul. They want their future love um already from this pile like I'm feeling like so like ooh, <laughs> I'm like charged you know um okay so what I'm doing here so these are messages from your future husband your future spouse okay and you know this is a love letter from them okay and what I did here was I held this crystal and I channeled one message and then I did song telepathy and challenged the second part of the, the message, the letter. Okay, but through here, I'm going to see, you know, what do they think about you? What do they feel about you as your future husband or as your husband? Okay, and again, you know, like I mentioned, just imagine you're already with them. Okay, most definitely. So let's see here. You're definitely going to have three children together. That's that's a given. Wow. We're getting a lot of threes here. Okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of looking and feeling... They love you when you're in your element. When you are with um, friends, they just see you as really happy. You're joking. You're laughing. Even when, like, it's like I, when he sees you, it's like you're at that time, like, you're checking out someone or you make, like, the boogly eyes at a guy. I don't know if you're at a party or at an event, but he sees and he's like, wow, like, you know, she's a woman, too, and she doesn't care who sees her. Like, oh, okay. He loves it when you're in your element and you're having fun. When you're having fun, when you're truly happy, you're radiating like this positive beauty. To him, you are worth waiting for. Definitely, it doesn't matter how long you are worth waiting for. And when he's with you, it's like nothing can happen soon enough. You know, he, when he meets you, he wants to date you. When he dates you, he wants to make love to you. When he makes love to you, then he'll make you his girlfriend. I don't know. Like, in, you know, when he makes you his girlfriend, he wants to be engaged. And when he's engaged, he wants to take you to the first priest he sees and he wants to marry you. Nothing can happen soon enough with him and you. He has an intense, passionate love for you. Like, he knows that even though he wants everything to happen quick, he doesn't believe in as quick as it happens, it will end. No, this doesn't apply here. There is a very strong spiritual connection, and he feels it. And at first, he might not even realize it. I'm feeling like... I'm sorry, I have my eyes closed right now. I'm like... Sleep. 
When he, when he closes your eyes, he has seen your face. When he sleeps, he dreams you. In his, wake, in his waking life, though, when he is awake, when he is at work, it's like he doesn't remember or he, I feel like he's so logical, so rational that he doesn't believe it's true. But when he sees you, it's like, that's li literally the girl of my dreams. When you're married, he re he starts to, like, it's like it recalls back to him. And it's like, I feel like in the marriage, you guys work at everything. I feel like you two work together. I'm getting, like, a strong team, you know? Like, you're a king and queen ruling your own little kingdom. With you, he loves you so much that he's willing to be patient. He's just right there and he's just waiting. Like, when you're mad, he's not going to fight you back. He doesn't even see it as worth it. He knows that he's going to, you're worth waiting for in the sense to where he's going to wait for you to calm down. Because he knows you two are always going to come back together. He has that faith because this is not a, this is not just a union where you meet let's just say at a bar and you guys just things just happen no this is a union where there's such a strong soul connection and he feels it and what i'm feeling right now is like my heart is ready to jump out of my chest like he sees you and it's just like oh my god that's her but you know at first he doesn't realize like that's the girl of my dreams until you two are together it's like he can't believe that he's actually dreamt you he can't believe that he's actually touching a face he's felt before and I feel like I'm guess this is one type of letter that I wrote and I think this is going to be it mind you the way I did this you know I wrote the letters first you know again while I was holding the crystal and with song telepathy I put the the letters aside okay with the crystals that was at first and then I kind of just I put the crystals to where they were supposed to be, and I kind of just shuffled everything, okay, just if that makes sense, okay, I know how I did it, but I shuffled everything, and it's like everything was to go with a certain pile, I shuffled the cards, I laid them out, I put the crystal with the letter, okay, so it's like everything is connected at one point, I don't know if that makes sense, it's just something like, I feel like, you know, someone's like going to kind of doubt it, but just trust me on this, okay? And what I'm feeling is like a certain letter that I know I channeled. It's going to go with this pile. And if it's not with this pile, I'm going to be shocked as hell. I mean, but I kind of walked into that with the way I did things, right? But listen, look. <laughs> In your marriage, it's not going to be worth it to him to fight with you. It's not going to be worth it to him to argue with you. It's not going to be worth it, okay? And even, I feel like... In the marriage, you're going to have, like, doubts, you know, where you're, like, focusing, like, oh, my God, he's not showing me enough attention. Oh, my God, he's not telling me he loves me. Um, oh, you know what I'm feeling? It's like, I feel like he works so hard. This guy feels very logical. I feel like he's, like, um, he deals with something in the justice system. He's a lawyer. He's a police officer. Maybe even a paralegal, but his job he's going to be away a lot okay and he's going to come home really tired and stressed and I feel like I feel like when you two are married as much as he wants to sometimes he's so tired and stressed he just cannot perform you know he's going to be too tired to make love to you or he's just so caught up in work that he forgets to let you know how much he loves you okay and I feel like there might be a point in your marriage where you're feeling so hopeless, like that flame is just thrown into some, that flame is going to just dampen out. I feel like you're going to feel like he's losing his love for you or like he's just not into you like he was when you two first met. I feel like there will be like a point in the marriage where you feel like he's having an affair, not honoring the marriage, but that's going to be far from the point. Okay, that he is not like that with you. He is so in love with you, but he is also, I mean, okay, 
whatever he does, he's when he loves, he loves intensely, passionately, and with his whole heart and soul. If he can rip out his soul and give it to you, that is how intense his love is for you, okay? But for some reason, he does not show it. He does, it's not the type he's going to just go to you and like hug you and kiss you. My God, I love you. It's sadly not like that. But, but if you really just kind of open your heart and soul, it's like you can just feel like you can just, I feel like you got to have that confidence. Like, he, you know, be confident in your love. Be trusting in your love. Be trusting in your love. He's not the type to just, you know, go out and, you know, he's not going to write in the clouds, I love you. He's not going to give you the sun, moon, and stars talk. That's not him. Instead, I feel like, I, oh my God, see, I feel like there's so much he wants to get out and he can't say it fast enough or he can't say it, you know, perfect enough. I. That's what I'm getting, like. That's how much he's going to love you. Okay, when he loves, he loves hard. When he's committed to a work project, he's committed to a work project. If he's a lawyer or a policeman or a private investigator, something like that, if there's a case that he's working on, he puts his whole heart and strength into it because he's trying to defend that client. He's trying to bring justice. And then when he loves you, oh my God, he just adores the fuck out of you. But it's not something that he, I feel this, oh my God, this is that guy again. Okay, there's a male energy that I connect with. I say this in every reading and I want to call it out because if you're watching, your energy is really freaking just, you know, your energy. I feel your energy. I, I don't know who you are, but God, the woman you're, you're going to end up with, my goodness. And I feel like, like if he, if your future husband was watching this to see what a tarot reader is saying to you, which that's what I am. It's like, oh shit, I've been found out. I wish she would shut her mouth. Like, that's how I feel. Or I feel like, you know, it's like, okay, she's making it easy for me. I don't want to be able to say this to her. You're going to feel his love. It's just like, you gotta, at one point, you're just going to have to accept that that is who he is. He's not going to bring you roses and diamonds. I mean, yeah, he will bring you diamonds. But he's not going to, like, leave you love notes or anything. It's more like he's just going to show you. Um, you know, if you're, he might, I think that he's more like, you know, I've, okay, if you're creative, okay, oh, Beauty and the Beast, the Beast was so in love with Belle, and you know, it wasn't something that he really like just said, but he gave her the whole library because she loved books. It's like that. It's like that. Like, you might think, like, oh, my God, he doesn't love me. But, you know, let's just say if you craft a lot, you know, he is going to clean out his study. And he's going to make it your craft room because it has the best light. And that's how you can, you know, you know, that's how you can uh, have better light to paint better. Um, if you're into music, he will clear out his bachelor pad, his bachelor um den men cave whatever man cave he will clear it out just to make you a studio that's how he shows you that he loves you he is your biggest supporter and he will go to great lengths just to get give you everything you need the best of everything so you can fulfill fulfill you know fulfill your your creative project um, if you love gardening, he's going to build you a greenhouse or have it built. I feel like this is a guy who has money who will just, he, ma he makes it happen. And I feel like you might have some trust issues. There's just something about it. Um, you have trust issues, something from the past, you know, like you may have been hurt a lot. You, you know, your parents might be divorced yeah, I feel like your parents might be divorced and, you know, you've kind of lost hope and love. And when you're together, it's like you do expect the worst. You you really expect the worst. You expect him to cheat on you. If he's not giving you attention, you feel like he's giving it to someone else. But he's going to be patient with you because he's really fair and he's really logical and he can see it from your viewpoint. 
you know, he recognizes like, hey, I'm not exactly hugging her and kissing her. You know, like, of course, that's what she would think. But, you know, I just I feel like he's like he's confident, he's strong. But I feel like with you, he's scared to like be vulnerable with you because he's afraid that you might make fun of him or reject him and i feel like that slowly slowly will open up with you know in time in your marriage you two will be married a long time if not forever but when you meet him let me tell you everything's going to happen very quickly and it's like it's just going to feel right and then when you're married it kind of slows down because, you know, he has everything with you, but it's not that he's tired. It's just more like he's scared to open up even more because he didn't realize that he loved you more than his own life itself. He loves you more than his mother, probably. He loves you. He's going to love the babies you're going to have. He gets you pregnant because he loves you. But I feel like he loves you more than his own children. If he already has children, he just loves you. He adores you. He, he married you. He chose you. That's the way he sees it. He chose you. I feel like you are just like the love and the universe of his life. Like you are just this. I'm surprised I didn't get a past life card here or something. I mean, your connection goes beyond. It really, it really, I want to read the letter. I, I got to see if this is the letter. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is the letter. Okay. Look. Okay. So this is his oh my God. I just knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Next time I'm going to do all the shuffling and stuff on camera. I want you guys to see that. I mean, you just can't make this shit up. Every tarot reader has their, um, th this isn't the letter, by the way. <laughs> I'm not reading that. I'm just giving a little side note. Like every tarot reader has their own methods of doing stuff. Okay. There's no right or wrong way in reading tarot, in reading oracle cards, in channeling. No right or wrong way except always always shield yourself so that you, the messages you get are not you know wishful thinking lies or given to you by a negative source okay when i got into this i i wanted to help people and when it came excuse me when it came to you know people viewing my videos you know i saw that love were the most viewed and for good reason for good reason who doesn't want true love and if you don't want true love, you're not at that point in your life, it's okay. But eventually, you want that partnership and that connection. Okay. Let's read it. <laughs> okay, so this is your letter. Your letter from your future husband to you. The first part, I held the crystal and I wrote it. The second part, I did song telepathy and I wrote whatever else I felt coming on. Okay, so... My God, he's going to love you so much. I mean, he can't put it into words. That's what I'm getting. Not a part of the letter again, okay? So, the letter from your future husband to you. Sorry, I'm just checking the time on the camera. Okay. We are energetically connected. I have traveled to you in dreams. I've watched you as you slept. There are many things you don't want to believe as true, but believe it. Our union is not understood by many. We will be the envy of all of our friends and family. When we're married, there will be no divorce. Rest your fears, I'll be there soon. Song Telepathy Our, our love is felt on many dimensions. Dreams are only what you can comprehend. Astral visits, a night in the stars, our love is something only written in books. Every time we come together, I get to know more about you. I am a stranger in your mind. You've helped me open up to a world of love. Thank you. We're almost united. Oh my God. Like that is just. I'd have chosen, you know, that. I wish I would have just chosen at all. This one though, like I said, he loves you so much. He cannot put it into words. And, you know, I feel like, again, you know, you're going to go through a period where. When you guys are finally married and maybe you have babies, you might feel like he's lost it for you. But no, it's because he just loves and he worships your love so much he cannot put it into words. It's the way he was raised as well, I feel. Okay, okay. When you two meet, it's like 
when you two meet, it's like, it's not like, oh my God, I love you. It's not going to be that, but nothing can happen fast enough for you and him. And when I think the night you meet, it's like, you know, hey, you know, why can't we have a conversation? But I feel like a nonchalance about him. You know, and when you guys have the conversation, well, hey, it's like, this is our first date. Let me take you on another. On your first date, hey, you want to be my girlfriend? I mean, why not? And you might pin it on something like more, you know, like, hey, we're, we're already at that age. You know, you guys might be in your 30s, your 40s. And it's like he try. Okay, wait. Okay, this is the conversation between you two at each phase. Okay, forgive me. Okay, so going from like, hey, this is our first date. Let's go on another. When you're on your first date, why don't you just become my girlfriend? We're at that age. I mean, why are we going to waste time? And maybe that same night, well, you're my girlfriend. Why can't we just make love? Invite me in. And that's where you're going to be like, you know what, motherfucker? No, you know, you're just trying to get in my pants. Get lost. Lose my fucking number. And then, you know, you might be so mad because you're, you're a passionate individual. I can see that. You're going to think he's like all the rest where he is trying to get into your pants and in a way, yes. But in another way, he's just like, wait a minute, I'm just so, you know, I just, he feels it's so meant to be. Like, if you move fast, he knows it's not going, he's not going to lose respect for you. And he's not going to, it's not going to be a game to him. And, you know, you're going to kind of like, you're scared off, you're pissed at him. And he's going to be like, you know what, okay, I'm going to let her cool off. I have her number. We went on a date. I already know she's going. It's like he feels that, like, psychically and energetically, he's going to know, like, we're going to get back together. I know I'm going to get her. And it's not cocky. It's like he just knows he needs to let you cool down. He understands that he is moving a little fast now. But he gives you a minute, you know. And then he'll reach out to you. Or you might reach out to him. And then, you know, the night you do make love, it's just like you can just see yourself married to him. Like you can see yourself waking up to him. He can see himself waking up to you forever. And he's just like, and I know the sex is going to be great. You know, I feel like um, he checks out your ass a lot. I'm sorry. So he's attracted to you. Yeah, he loves your naked body. And I feel like a lot of you have insecurities with your naked body. You're probably bigger women. Big is beautiful, baby. I'm a big woman myself. <laughs> um, you know, and, you know, you might feel like you have like um, stretch marks in certain places. You might have, you know, cellulite on your thighs or, or butt. But he loves it. He loves every mark on your body. He loves it. You know, you might have a scar somewhere, an ugly mole, ugly mole, according to you. And he thinks it's freaking sexy. OK, so and with that, you know, it's just like he can imagine himself waking up to you. And then it's like, you know, I think even the first night you make love, it's like you get he wants to get you pregnant or he just doesn't mind. You know, he's not putting on a condom. He's not he's not concerned about all that. He just knows that he wants to be tied to you in some way. And he's not, he's willing to just take a risk. He's not worried about what's at stake, you know. With you, it's just like everything feels right. And I feel like, you know, it's going to be nonchalant. The only part that will be planned is probably your engagement. That is it. And then when you're married, it's like you two are going to have children. And then it's going to go from there. And then it just kind of like, you know, he throws himself into work because he's working so hard to make sure that he has everything and more for you and the family, the kids. Wow. So, I mean, ladies, if you're dreaming someone, okay, if you're dreaming a guy, okay, I feel like this has to come out. You're dreaming a man, but you cannot see his face. And, my God, it's like you're dreaming of holding someone's hand. You're dreaming of hugging someone. You're dreaming of kissing someone. You don't know who it is. And when you wake up, it might be like you feel like an amount of sadness. You know, like, why couldn't that dream go on forever? And it's not because you're lonely in this life. It's not because the current relationship you're in is not fulfilling. It's because this is you and him connecting. Okay, I feel like some of you had to hear that. Okay, pile number two. That was your reading. That was so freaking beautiful. I'm jealous almost, but God, you deserve it, okay? Okay. 
it's a beautiful marriage. Just, just like he's patient with you, just try not to trip out on him. I mean, that's just who he is. But I feel like he is going to love you tremendously. Everything about you is just beautiful and sacred to him, especially when you have children. Um, yeah, so please, I mean, let me know if that resonates. I mean, are you having dreams with someone? Um, please let me know. Um, all right, pile number two, that was your reading. Have a great day. Bye. Pile number three, thank you for coming to this reading. Um, all right, so we're here, two piles. The readings were so freaking beautiful. Um, these, I'm sorry, this <laughs> reading is messages from your future husband. How will he think about you? How will he feel for you? And then I have a love letter right here. Um, and again, I wrote this letter, um, the first part of it while holding this crystal that you've chosen. And then um, the song Telepathy. Um, I use that on the second part of the letter, okay? So for those of you who chose the uh, White Obsidian. I'm sorry, Snow Obsidian. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. So first of all, the Five of Cups, it came out um, in reverse. Okay. And then you have the five of wands here. So just bear with me. Don't pay attention to the neg the traditional negativity of the tarot cards, okay? Let me see what I get here. Mm. With you, you make him see, you know, what he truly has. You make him appreciate the little things in life. With you, he doesn't focus on the negative anymore. You make him see the positive. He may lose everything. But he has your love and that means more to him than any amount of money or any position, you know, at work. Like with you, it's all about you. In your marriage, it's like he is focused on, you know, finances. He is focused on his career. But he wants your love, most definitely. And I feel like this this makes him conflicted in the marriage. Like, he may turn down a promotion because he knows it's going to affect your relationship. He might have to travel and, you know, something of the sort. And um, he doesn't want to risk losing you. <laughs> okay look when you two come together he's all about finances and career and you you might be in school you're like really focused on school or you're focused on attending classes and seminars about a certain uh, subject a certain skill that you want to learn so for some reason it's like your schedules are conflicted um he He's like up for a promotion or something. I feel like he's a very, um, he's very prominent in his family. He's really prominent at work. He's probably like in a high position. Like even as a supervisor, he just has a lot of responsibility and it does include travel. Um, he may be on like a business venture as well. And he has a business partner who just has a stupid little role of, Hey, you know, no relationships while we're doing this. Let's focus on our business. And I feel like when you two barely come together, okay, I feel like it's just going to be for the hell of it. You two just date for the hell of it. You two just, you know, you guys have like a friends with benefits type of situation. And then you guys catch feelings for each other. I mean, I feel like you look at him and you laugh. Like, I feel like you're the one that's like, oh my God, like, I know this is going to be my future husband. He's mine. He just doesn't know it yet. And, you know, I feel like with that positive energy, like, you just draw him towards you like a moth to a flame. Oh my God, like the song playing right now, it's uh, With You by Kiss Chris Brown. Like, every kiss and every hug, it makes him fall in love. And you have two, you have two cards with that. 
Like with you, he feels like he can accomplish even more. With you, he's happy. With you, he just needs you and that's, that's it. Yeah, and I feel like with you, he's willing to make every sacrifice that he needs to be with you. And I feel like he's a trickster. Like, he really manipulates the situation to, like, um, let's just say you're going to school. And let's just say he's in sales. He might purposely take a job in that area just so he can see you. And... He's really quick at thinking he is about his money. And with that, I feel like, you know, like, not to paint it like a, a Fifty Shades of Grey, okay? That's not what this is about, I swear to God. But I'm just saying, like, if he's in a high position and you're going to school or something, he might be like, hey, why don't you come to work for me part-time as my assistant? And it's so he can get closer to you. And I feel like even when you are married, okay, I'm channeling like a lot of energy when you guys meet. Sorry, this has been in every pile. But when you two are finally married, he wants time with you because you make him feel better when it comes to, you know, um, you know, work and everything. It's like he he has a lot of responsibility. But when you're there, it's just all that much better. And I feel like, you know, if he does go into business for himself, you know, at his place of work, he wants you to come and work with him. He wants to be close to you in that sense because you make him feel better. Um, every decision that he makes, it's going to involve you. He wants your opinion, your input. If he's traveling for work, he wants you to come with him, which may conflict with like your wants and desires, but you two just kind of make it work with him. He's willing to, you know, bend, he's willing to compromise just to make it work, but he wants you two together and it's not clingy energy. It's more like he just kind of needs you near because you make him feel better. He's going to feel so protective over you and there might be a little bit of jealousy um, but he has to remind himself you know what I know she's mine I know she loves me <laughs> all right no I, I get that he's kind of yeah he's going to feel a little jealous and when he is jealous you're going to let him know like dude I don't want anybody else calm down you know like you're mine and I'm yours I feel like you you let you make him see the humor in every situation, including when he has his little jealous fits. He's going to love that when he's with you, he can be himself. He can laugh. He can talk. He can he can cry. He can um, be a dumbass. That's what I'm getting. Like I, I feel like you're going to look at him. You're going to be like, damn, you're such a goofy ass. You know, like. To me, to me, it's being a dumbass. I'm sorry. That's just me, though. But, um, yeah, like, he can say the stupidest things, but he can only do that when he's around you. I feel like when he's, like, with friends um, or he's, like, at work, like, he has to maintain, like, a certain pers persona. He has a reputation to protect. But with you, he can just let loose and be a clown. And I feel like when you two are in front of, like, business colleagues or something, you know to just kind of you know, chill, let him take the lead and let him act however he needs to act. He needs to like manipulate the situation in some way. People respect him and it's because he maintains a certain image and you understand that. So you'll, you'll play coy, you'll play submissive, you'll play quiet and behind closed doors, it's like, oh no mofo, it's not happening like that. Like you two have that type of marriage and it's cute. It's actually really cute. You guys have an understanding of each other. But I feel like with you, he has a clear mind. He can make just decisions with you. Like, you know, everything is in balance. Everything is beautiful. You allow him to be the man, but really, I feel like the, the relationship is more like, and it's not a fight for control, but it's more like, it's just like back in the old days where a king did rule the kingdom, but he had that queen behind him that whispered in his ear or gave him suggestions. But, you know, she made him feel like, oh, he's making the decision. That's what I feel. It's kind of like Vikings, you know, Largatha to Ragnar. 
um, or, you know, like the Earl, you know, and his wife, you know, how she made him feel powerful. And she reminded him, like, baby, you're the Earl. But really, you know, she was kind of pulling the strings. He's going to feel like just just an immense feeling to to protect you. He's really protective with you and he wants to make you feel like you're taken care of. And I feel like, you know, in the marriage, he's going to come up from behind you a lot and give you, you know, side kisses. He's going to hug you from behind. Like it makes him feel like he's protecting you and securing you. Um, he may kiss you on the cheek a lot. He, he loves your cheeks. He really loves your cheeks. And to him, you're like his little doll, a doll, like a porcelain doll that he needs to protect from the ugly, cruel world. Um, but yet you're like this strong lady. Yeah, you're, you're just like his, his princess, his queen, his, his lady. He's going to have a really big lust for you as well. Um... Yeah, I mean, he's always going to want to make love to you. I mean, he'll clear time out of his schedule to meet up with you. You guys will have that type of relationship. <laughs> and I feel like you two are opposites. Like, um, one of you is an air sign. Uh, I don't like going by that. One of you is more, you know, outspoken, creative, inventive. And the other one is more, like, practical. And, you know, they, they like to, like, kind of weigh the pros and cons before they make a decision. You, you're just, like, snap. Let's do this. Or, or, you know, go ahead and do this to hell with it. You know, I feel like um, the old saying, like, he's such a serious person and you're such a fun person. You're, like, fun, outspoken, energetic. Like, being with him is like bringing your grandmother to a punk rock concert. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the way people view you, but really you two have an understanding. He has to be serious. He has to, like, be act uptight he has to act like he's a jerk you know especially like something to do with finances and career but when he's home it's like you two can just kind of let loose you see like it's like see like when people are watching when people are watching him at work or whatever he has to act serious and he might even be like yeah i wear the pants at home you know my woman knows better and it's not that he's bad mouthing you like i said he has a reputation to protect but when you two are home, it's like he's going to chase you around naked. He's going to, you know, make these jokes. I mean, to hell, you guys might even have like a water gun fight. I feel like it's that type of fun that he can't really let out into the world. I believe you two will wait to have kids because you two want to enjoy each other and kind of build an empire. When you're when you get pregnant, it's like it just happens. And he might be like, oh, my God, like, what are we going to do? And you're like, well, you know what? You lay down with me, buddy. Like, I didn't make this baby by myself. So, you know, you're going to be a daddy or are you just going to bitch about it? You know, because and I feel like I feel like you might be at a point in the marriage where you're like, I can do this by myself if you need me to. And he's going to be like, no, 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 babe. That's not what I'm saying. It's just I'm a little freaked out. And you're going to be like, hey, grab a pair, you know, <laughs> we're going to be a family now. And then you two are going to grow. And it's like a new phase of the marriage. Like there's just something new and renewed about it. And it's like he's growing up while he's with you. Like at work and stuff, he's mature. He's he's a man. But when it comes to relationships, I feel like there's like a level of um he's not he's not really good with the relationships, but with you, you're like his little you're his you're his love. And he grows with you. And he appreciates the lessons that you teach him. Alright, let's get into the love letter, okay? Let me see. Pile number two, I was like so ecstatic. I mean, this one I am too. It's just number two. I feel like there's someone out there who's just going to have like the love of 10 lifetimes. Like so beautiful. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So first part, I held this crystal and I channeled the message. The second part, I did song telepathy and I wrote the message. Okay. Okay. I look at you and watch you when you're not looking. Your light is what guides me towards you. I can't wait to be with you. Please remember you might not choose me first, but I'm patiently waiting for you to be truly all mine. 
Our life together will be a series of trials and tribulations, but we will always get through anything that stands in the way of us being successful. I will be kind, selfless, and patient with you. You've gone through so much. I need you. I put I love him, but maybe that's what you're going to feel. So uh, sorry, maybe I channeled you. But um, going on with him, I need you. Without your love, I'm nothing. Everything will be all right. Oh, shit. I won't be jealous. I don't want to control you. I only want to win your heart. Don't hesitate to let your guard down. I want you to need me. Tell me you love me. That's all I want from you. Okay, so as I said, I feel like he's going to be jealous, okay? That might cause a problem in the relationship, even though you might laugh it off. He's, like I said, he might have to act a little uptight. Um, but he might be uptight with that. You know, when it comes to the thought of you being with someone else, it drives him to be jealous. And I feel like, you know, the trials and tribulations is like, it might cause a problem, but he might make that promise. Like, I won't be jealous. I, it's not, I'm not jealous because I want to control you. I'm not trying to be possessive, you know, and he might, he might just explain, you know, I just, I need to know that your heart is all mine. You know, and I feel like that's something you might have to work towards in the marriage. But I mean, he he loves you. And I feel like, oh, how cute how it fits in. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, allow me to explain. Sorry. <laughs> All right, look. He loves you, okay? And I feel like the trials and tribulations in your marriage... Or that, you know, he might go through, you know, a time where he's not, where he's kind of an asshole when he feels threatened. He might, you know, he might be a little selfish as well, where he's like, you know, no, you know, don't take that new class because we won't be able to be together. I already travel enough. And you're just like, dude, why don't you just stop traveling and, you know, let me go to school. You know, let, I'll work a side job. And he's just like, no, you know, like he, maybe something like that. And it's like, you know, maybe there is a level of impatience with him where, you know, he's, he's, I feel like he's so prominent at his work, so important at his work. People respect him. People fear him. Where to as he snaps and somebody will go run up the wall and jump and land on their head. You're not like that. And you're just like, you know what? I don't give a, I don't give a flying shit what you're saying. Like, I'm going to do me and you can accept it or it is what it is. You know, we can part. That's going to change him. Like, he grows up. He learns to be kind, self, uh, selfless, and patient. And he, you know, I guess, like, he comes to an understanding. Like, you know what? She's strong like this because she has already been through this. And it's no better with me putting her through this all over again. And he's going to change. He goes through a new phase of his life. The new phase of being a real man. Yeah, and then like where to as he was jealous, it's not because he wants to control you. He realizes that it's because he really feels threatened by another man taking your love. But what he needs to learn is that your love is true. You are a solid female and you know, you love him and he needs to trust that. So he's going to learn how to trust, how to be kind, you know, how to be more patient, how to be selfless instead of selfish. You know, yeah, you know. At work, you know, he's successful and all, but what about being successful at, you know, at, how about being successful at getting and keeping the woman that you truly love and a woman that truly loves you? Okay. And yeah, with everything you've been through, it's like you might not let your guard down at first and it's something he's going to have to work towards as well and it's not helping if he's in the, uh, the negative you know being you know acting jealous and such but okay pile number three that was your reading i mean there's going to be a few bumps in the road but you guys get through anything and everything excuse me anything and everything and I feel like you're just, you're so quick with your, with your words, okay? You're, there's going to be many moments where he's trying to like prove his point and you're going to shut him up and make him think. 
Like he's going to be at a loss for words with you a lot. And that's something he's going to appreciate because you really make him step back and really think about what he's doing. Think about, you know, what he's going to lose, which is you. Okay. And he will, throughout the marriage, he will make the effort to change and he will change. He will make the effort to understand your point of view. He will make the effort to put himself in your place. Okay, and I believe that's that's what's going to make the marriage very successful. So he loves you. He might find it difficult, but he's willing to change for you. You are worth. You are worth the effort. You are worth that and more. And he sees that. Okay, all right. Pile number three. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, have a great day. Bye.